Hello, in this video I will be showing you a few methods to fix Wi-Fi not showing in settings or Wi-Fi connected but no internet access on Windows 10. Let's get started. So this error might be happening because there is an incorrect Wi-Fi configuration on your Wi-Fi router and your computer. Also, there might be an issue with your Wi-Fi network driver. Go to the start menu and type services. And then you can either just right click on this and run as administrator or you can just click in here and run as administrator from here. In order for Wi-Fi option to appear in the settings, so we need to enable WLAN service. If this has been disabled, then might be what's causing the problem. So you need to go and find your WLAN autoconfig in here and once you find it just select it and right click on it. Go to properties then in here you will see a start type option. So in here if it's on automatic then you can leave it. If it's on manual then you need to change it back to automatic. And once you do that then just click on apply and ok. And check to see if this method has fixed your Wi-Fi issue. The next method that you can try is to update your Wi-Fi network card driver. As this could be another reason why your Wi-Fi is not showing up. So here how to do it. Go to your start menu and right click on your start menu. Then go to your device manager. Once you go to your device manager, look for network adapters. Double click on it, expand it and look for your Wi-Fi driver. If you see yellow triangle on the side, this means there's an issue with your Wi-Fi network card. So you need to right click on it and select update driver. In here, you need to select the second option, browse my computer for drivers. And then the next option will be let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. In here, you can select your Wi-Fi driver. Once you found your Wi-Fi driver and you select it, just click next and wait for it to get updated. And once it's updated successfully, then check to see if your Wi-Fi is working fine. So if you have tried the previous method by updating your driver and still it didn't work, then go back to your device manager again by right clicking on the start menu and go to your device manager. So once we go to the device manager again, what we need to do is now we need to reinstall the Wi-Fi driver. As this can be caused by a corrupted Wi-Fi driver. So to check to see if this is what is causing the issue, we need to go to the network adapters again and select Wi-Fi driver. And right click on it and click on uninstall device. And then uninstall again. Wait for a few seconds get updated once is reinstall your Wi-Fi driver you will see your Wi-Fi driver back in here again if it doesn't appear then you need to select this option here on the top and wait for a few seconds again as you can see the Wi-Fi driver is back on again so try to see if your Wi-Fi is working now the next method to try, go to search and type system configuration. Open it up and in here select services. Then enable all and click apply and hit OK. Now restart your PC and try to see if your Wi-Fi is back on working. If you have tried all the options and none of them worked, then try this last option. Go to search and type network connections and hit enter and go to your wi-fi once you find your wi-fi select your wi-fi and right click on it and go to properties then go to this option internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 then click on properties and in here if you got any ip addresses in here you need to turn them off by clicking on obtain an IP address automatically this one and then just hit OK once you tried this now you can try to see if your Wi-Fi is back on working and hopefully you got access to internet 
Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful for you and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos.